In this video, I'm going to discuss five exciting new features coming to Teams later this year. Microsoft recently held their Ignite event and revealed some awesome new things coming our way. Hey everyone, it's Joe from FC Tech, a great place to find tech news, reviews, and tutorials. If you're new here, make sure you click the subscribe button, and all the links we reference in this video can be found in the video's description. And with that said, let's jump into it. My number one takeaway from the Ignite event is the meeting recap feature. Meeting recaps help invitees stay up to date on recent meeting content, even if they were unable to attend the meeting. Under the meeting chat tab, team members will be able to recap the meeting's recordings, audio transcripts, chat, and any other files shared during the meeting. The meeting recap feature is expected to be released between Q3 and Q4 2020. Number two, breakout rooms. Breakout rooms will allow meeting organizers to divide up meeting participants into smaller groups for brainstorming and collaboration. Presenters can then hop between rooms to participate or close the rooms to bring everyone back to the main meeting. Breakout rooms should be available sometime in October. Number three, the SharePoint Home Site app in Teams. The new SharePoint Home Site app will bring your organization's intranet site directly into Teams. The app name and site icon will match the site's branding and can be pinned to the navigation bar in the Teams client. The SharePoint Home Site app should be available sometime between Q3 and Q4 of this year. Number four, approvals in Microsoft Teams. With approval flows, you can easily create, manage, share, and act on approvals within the Teams client. These flows will be available in chat, channels, and in the approvals app. I think you'll find this the most useful when trying to request approvals for documents and various messages within the Teams client. Approvals for Teams should be available sometime in October. Number five, custom layouts. Later this year, Microsoft will release the ability to allow for a much more dynamic content presentation experience. This will also enable presenters to have a lot more control of how content is displayed to viewers. This feature is very similar to what you'd experience with products such as OBS. The custom layout feature should be available sometime in Q4 of this year. For a complete list of new and upcoming Teams features, please click the link in the description down below. If you found this video helpful, please click subscribe and like below. Question, which new Teams feature are you most excited about? Let me know in the comments. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.